It's a rather breezy May Day here in the Sherwood Forest Country Park. And I've come here today to have a look for two particular red and black invertebrates. One's a beetle. We might not find it, but it does occur here. But the other we'll definitely find because that's the very common red and black leafhopper, Cercopis vulnerata, which is an absolutely beautiful thing. And it's found here in numbers. And those numbers are just starting to peak. Well, that's guaranteed here. Our other red and black species is a click beetle, and that's far rarer, but it's not uncommon at Sherwood, so we're made to strike it lucky. Now it's a cracking species and a very confiding one. It's allowed me to pick this bit of umbellifer foliage and not move a muscle. This is an impressive longhorn. It's a large longhorn with an equally large and impressive name. This is Agapanthia veloso viridescent, sometimes called the something bloom longhorn, something daft, but Agapanthia. Veloso viridescens isn't that difficult to say. It might sound it, but it isn't. But this is a beautiful species. Large antenna, that are sort of a slate grey blue alternated with black along the length of each antenna. The legs are a similar colour without the black. It's a beautiful thing. It might be called the golden blue longhorn. Hagapanthia velociviridescens is a name to impress your friends with. This saying is nicely confiding. Usually, they'll shift a bit. But this one is plain. It's a cracking species. It's common amongst rank, low vegetation in an assorted range of habitats. You'll get this along field edges anywhere where umbellifers like this grow. Technically, I suppose it's more of a woodland species, but look for it anywhere in any hedge bottom. So that's the large longhorn with the impressively large long name of Agapanthia velociviridescens. It's a cracking thing, isn't it? Now, it is a real Sherwood Forest gem. There's several species of bright red click beetle, or at least reddish coloured click beetles, that are found in Sherwood Forest. This is one of them. This is Ampedus quirky cola. The other commoner ones are Ampedus pomorum, which is a more brownish colour rather than the red, and then a bicoloured one, Ampedus baltiatus. They're all very striking species. This one is playing very nicely. I just found it sat at the top of a grass stem. And I put it on my hand, picked it up, and it sort of settled in nicely there. Usually they run off or run to a high point and fly off. So far, we're doing very well here. Commonly found on birch here at Sherwood Forest, but not throughout the country park area and certainly not throughout the Sherwood Forest NNR as a whole. But there's this one section of the Sherwood Forest Country Park which is nearest the Swinecote Road gate and that's quite often the best place to see this particular species. It's not a species you'll see every visit, we certainly haven't over the years, but it is what I would call a stonker. I do love bright red beetles. And it's nice that this one is playing on this very breezy May spring day. So usually 
Most of our records have come from birch, often scrub birch, but it will be found on a variety of low foliage. It does occur on oak. In fact, I had one about a week ago in Clipson Old Quarter, which landed on oak and promptly disappeared in between the cracks and the fishes of the oak bark. But this is one of the three of the commoner red click beetles. It's a beautiful species. Now our second red and black species of the day is this conspicuous of leaf hoppers. This is Cercopis vulnerata. Not surprisingly, often has a common name given as the red and black leaf hopper. You didn't need a degree to come up with that name. At Sherwood, this is one of the commonest species in its species. When it started to emerge, it signified that it was time to start and look for Cryptocephalus coral, the hazelbot beetle. It emerges in the spring, and after a week or a fortnight of the first ones appearing, it's at its greatest numbers, and at many sites there will be hundreds of these. All can usually be found in low vegetation, but these do occur in good numbers right at the top of birches. It surprises when we first started scanning the tops of birches for Cryptocephalus coralli and saw numbers of these up there. It's a cracking thing though, it's a lovely species, it's a large species. This measuring, well, there's my scabby thumb, this one's, we're doing well for confiding insects today. Widespread throughout Nottinghamshire, find it in most habitats where it's densely vegetated, lots of grass and a range of rank vegetation. It's a beautiful species. As I stand here and record this bit, there's plenty of the red and black leaf hoppers of Copis vulnerata coming up out of the grass and sitting on this low foliage. No surprise to get that. Now, we're this next week anyway, we'll be in peak numbers. It was a surprise to get the hoped for click beetle, Ampedus quirkicola. They're not guaranteed by any means. None of the three red click beetles that are regularly recorded at Sherwood Forest are. Sometimes you can just drop lucky, and that's what we did today.